Hello, beautiful people. Shalom, money makers. So the crypto market continues to sell off Shiba Inu, Bitcoin, Ethereum, though everything is down. Is the reason actually a simple reason, which I'll reveal to you at the end of the video. So make sure to watch all the way to the end. All I ask from you is that you give me a beautiful smile up or down, sideways. We always give out the beautiful smiles, right? To send out good, good vibes smishity smash that like button you know what they say the more likes my videos get the higher the price uh, of crypto goes <laughs> it's the scientists say not me <laughs> of course it's a joke <laughs> and now everybody's favorite part let's do the shiba shay <laughs> So as you can see, post having, we're going to the moon. <laughs> and no, this is something that, of course, was, I wouldn't say anticipated, but it was in the realm of the possibilities uh, with high probability that we would see a pullback on the crypto market post having, right? We talked about this multiple times prior to having, and I warned you that historically there has been a sell off post having. Um, Eventually, it turns into parabolic runs, but in the immediate uh, future of the post having, right? Is that a correct way to say it? <laughs> in the immediate uh, present of the post having, there is always a pullback, right? But there could be another reason. And some might say, well, it, today the federal chairman of the US uh, is going to giving his decision on interest rates. And so it created a snowball effect here where some started selling. There was some liquidations. And the more liquidations you have, the, the more the price starts going down on, on the long side, of course. And then people start, uh, you know, heavily shorting and it creates a downward pressure. And that's the situation that we are in, right? Um, yes, that is a possibility as well. What is interesting, and you know, we'll get to Shiba Inu in just a second, which is actually holding nicely. Bitcoin is is um, falling a lot harder than uh, the the market, so meaning that the Bitcoin dominance is dropping. We'll get to that in just a second, but I want to show you the fear. So basically, the fear is at fifty four, right? and this happened prior to uh, Bitcoin falling more. So this was it, it happened when Bitcoin was around. Uh, the 60,000 level, right? This gauge comes out, uh, you know, about at 3 a.m. my time. So Bitcoin was around 60,000 at that time. It's now at 57,000 and it dipped all the way down to um, 56 something, right? 56,500, right? When I woke up. Um, and yet the crypto fear is at 54. So meaning that this is the lowest point, even lower than it was um a few weeks ago right when we when we had that uh, massive drop off uh if you remember bitcoin stopped at 60,000 so now we're at a lower level although a lot of altcoins at are, are at higher levels bitcoin itself has dropped to a lower level right so the fear is becoming greater right and we're at 54 what happened last time well, we saw a run from 60,000 up to 67,000 does that mean that it's going to happen in the same way that it did uh, last time we were in this zone that is the big question right uh, i i don't know exactly how it's going to happen but you can see the this is even lower than we were in february right if we go one year out uh the low the the last time we we're at these lower levels was in january we'll, we'll get to january in just a second remember january right <laughs> remember january <laughs> Um, and if we go and we look at the crypto bubbles, of course, you can see uh, red all across the board, right? Uh, and if we look at the liquidations here, you can see that in the past 24 hours, 464 million on the liquidation. So not too bad, right? I thought there would be a little bit more leverage happening here. Yes, of course, 400 million is a lot, but we've seen some days where there have been big movements that it was, you know, around a billion. So, sorry. <laughs> Technical difficulty time. <laughs> um, it's natural, natural, right? Better in than out. <laughs> um, so 
we've seen where it goes to a billion dollars on the liquidation. It could be that people, you know, a little bit of more of a fear, so less leverage happening here. <clears throat> now, if you are interested in leverage trading, of course, we have our partner Margex. <clears throat> Check it out in the description down below. I'll get a little bit of commission. The people that we talked about having a, a, a insurance position, right, could have been very, very profitable today and could have maybe uh, negated some of the the uh losses that happened on this dip right so you know uh but you know that's hindsight is always 2020. um it's interesting that we're stopping here on an area that had kind of a bullish flag a small bullish flag that was created and this zone is that is the zone that we have stopped off here for shiba inu right and we'll get to some interesting news you know cz and everything that's happening there right uh, which was interesting as well uh, Shiba Inu broke out of that uh, downward uh, trend that we were in, right? So as soon as that happened, we saw, uh, you know, the sell-off. It did bounce back to the trend line, uh, but then with the whole market selling off, we saw Shiba Inu coming to the 20, 21,000, uh, 2100 level, uh, which is about the level that it stopped off here on a few candles. I'm looking at the four-hour chart here for Shiba Inu right now, where we had the kind of it's a U shape or cup shape, but it never it never materialized into a cup and handle formation, um, and it was at a lower level. So you know Shiba Inu dropped to eighteen hundred there on on the dip. So we're seeing higher levels. And if we look, for example, at Ethereum, Ethereum is about where where it was on the dip. Of course, Bitcoin dropped lower, um, and if we look at the dominance, we can see right that the dominance here is uh, falling for Bitcoin meaning that Bitcoin is, is dropping more than the rest of the, the crypto market. So you know, even though we're seeing Shiba Inu um, down 6% in general with the, the rest of the market, it's holding Bitcoin is, is dropping more than the rest of the market. Um, and it is what it is. Right? Um, we, we were crying a river, right? That it was boring again and it went, you know, sell off. Again, this is something that we anticipated. This is something that, um, you know, people will say when in doubt, zoom out, right? Um, you know, crypto, Shiba Inu up a lot, uh, up over 134% in the last three months. Uh, Bitcoin up big this over, you know, a 52 week um, period. And it's interesting that this is the biggest or deepest retrace, right, of the cycle for Bitcoin, 23.6%. Um, so this is more than um, what we saw in March and it's more what we saw in January and it's more than what we saw in uh, the end of 2024. <clears throat> and more, uh, the, the last time it was about this range uh, was in uh, March of 2023, which is behind my head. Um, so you're gonna have to believe me, I'll move it out of the way for a second. So you can see here, right, it was uh, around that uh, level where we saw a dip, but then, you know, it, it, it bounced back uh, significantly. March of 2023, if you remember, was when the bank started uh, collapsing, <laughs> right? And, and that, um, you know, fueled a movement uh, from, from the crypto market. So in, if you like zoom back a year, right? And you remember what was going on. So March of 2023, <clears throat> when it pulled back here, February to March, and we saw that low around 18,000. Uh, and then we had the banks, uh, you know, collapsing, and then and it, it dropped down there for a few months. And then we had the uh, BlackRock news, and it popped up, and then it sold off. And then there's ups and downs in the crypto market. This is this is how it is, right? Uh, but interesting, right? And you know, there was of course the news yesterday of uh, CZ, which was everything has to do with four, right? If, if you remember, he kept saying four, right, against FUD, right? Um, and uh, he was fined four billion dollars during the fourth having gets four months of jail time. <laughs> it's the fourth four year cycle on the last day of the fourth month. <laughs> That's a very interesting coincidence, <laughs> right? Um, so, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a time, right, where this is, you know, something that we talked about, that it's a high probability of possibility when we were looking at the four year cycle and we were talking about how Crypto behaves sometimes in a very specific way. We were talking about this is where the prediction was on the halving, running up into the halving, pulling back a little bit, and then dropping down 
to a specific level and then rising to a higher level and then pulling back a little bit and then rising and then, and then going to the parabolic uh, zone, right? Um, so the fact is that this is something that happens periodically in the four-year cycle. Um, some might acute it to, again, the Fed. Some might acute it to the fear of from, you know, seeds from um, finance there. Um, some might say, right, that it's kind of very eerie similarities to when the US ETFs came out. So uh, when the US ETFs came out, there was a lot of hype. And then what happened? Sell off. Um, yesterday, the Hong Kong ETFs uh, came out and we saw a pullback. So is it as easy as this, right? That as soon as the ETFs, you know, come out, we see a sell off, right? If you remember, there was a lot of hype uh, in January of 2024. Um, and let me remove all the, the drawings. <clears throat> And then you can see here, we had the ETFs come out uh, and then we had a pullback. And it would look like everything is, you know, over, right? Pullback, uh, I think it was around 20%, uh, around 20%, I can see from here, from what Rick did, yeah. It was around 20, 21%, uh, where pullback here from, from the high to the low. Uh, and then, boom, we went on that big run. Now, again, it doesn't mean that this time we're going to see the exact same action, but interesting that it coincided with the with the ETFs. It of course it started pulling. It, it saw the high the day after, right on January 11th, where January 10th was the day of the release. Um, and here we're already seeing this this you could say this pullback from you know from a few weeks ago, um, from April 9th. <clears throat> Although, you know, we did have the pullback of the few weeks ago, um, you know, the, the situation, uh, Iran, Israel situation that pulled back the markets a little bit, it flushed out a lot of leverage. Um, and, and now we're in this situation. Not every single situation in the crypto market is one to one the same, right? Um, you know, you can say, oh, it's stopped exactly at 21. It stopped exactly at this. It stopped here and say that this is going to be the same. But they have very similar characteristics sometimes, uh, and we can use that to our advantage. Okay. Um, very interesting day here, opening to the month, right? Is this a classic sell in May and go away? Right? <laughs> um, you know, that's a famous saying that, you know, people going into the summer, you know, sell their assets, take the money, have fun, and come back towards the winter. Um, crypto is a little bit different than that um and so it'll be interesting to see again is this you know a momentary uh, dip here or is this something uh, larger um you know there's going to be the bears that are already coming out and saying i told you so right and you know, people that that short uh <clears throat> bitcoin specifically and they'll say hey see i told you uh, that uh we're going to crash to twelve thousand, right maybe maybe not right um it's it's very easy to you know to to be all the time negative 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 and then when negative things happen like hey i was right <laughs> people get angry at me that i play both ways <laughs> and then i say i was right uh, but uh, <laughs> you don't know what's going to happen i give you possibilities i give you scenarios um we never know exactly what's going to happen you know we analyze the market and try to figure out what is the highest probability of something happening but at the end of the day nobody knows except the person that's selling or buying what's going to happen you know in the next five seconds right um so it's it's uh that's what makes it so interesting that's what makes it so it, <laughs> I, i'm cautious of saying this word but addictive right this is what makes the market so addictive because you don't know what's going to happen of course there's the making money that then maybe will give you the possibility to buy nice stuff right but for the most part people get into uh, the the markets and get um you know sucked into it because of all the uh, you know action right and i know that sometimes there's no action <laughs> um but uh th that's what i think gets many people into it right of course uh we don't like when it's going down <laughs> uh unless you're short again <laughs> then you're happy that it's going down uh, or there are people that, uh, you know, are happy and say, hey, I can buy more of this asset that I really like, you know. So there's always the, the, the two sides of the coin, right? So you might be feeling a little bit 
um, down today, but somebody else might be be happy, right? Um, so it, it's going to be interesting to see uh, how all of this uh, plays out. Again, um, long-term investors um, will brush this off. Short-term longs, right? People that are swing trading longs or swing trading, um, you know, the halving uh, are getting wrecked a little bit here. Um, but this is just part of the market. It's, it's very normal. And we'll see how what the Fed has to say today. Um, it's going to be a very, very interesting day to say the least. Of course, not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest. Check out the links in the description down below. See if anything interests you to support the channel. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.